According to recent findings, the first ever synthetic model embryos for human beings have been successfully created by scientists. According to a team of scientists from the United States and the United Kingdom, they have successfully produced synthetic structures akin to human embryos using stem cells. This breakthrough was accomplished without the involvement of eggs or sperm. At the earliest stages of human development, the structures that resemble embryos lack key features like a functional brain or a beating heart. Nonetheless, researchers believe that these structures have the potential to facilitate advancements in comprehending genetic disorders and the reasons behind pregnancy loss. The research being conducted on synthetic embryos has brought up a series of important ethical and legal inquiries. Surprisingly, there are many countries, including the United States, that have yet to establish any guidelines or regulations regarding the production and handling of these artificial life forms. Bioethics experts are becoming increasingly concerned as discoveries in this field accelerate and models become more advanced. These advancements have led to a proximity to the boundaries of life, causing alarm among those in the field. James Briscoe, the Associate Research Director at the Francis Crick Institute, has pointed out that while there is a legal framework for human embryos produced by in vitro fertilization, IVF, there are no clear regulations in place for human embryos derived from stem cells. As a result, there is a pressing need for regulations to be established which will govern the creation and usage of these stem cell derived models of human embryos. During a speech on Wednesday at the annual meeting of the International Society for Stem Cell Research in Boston, Dr. Magdalena Zernika Goetz presented her findings. Zernika Goetz, who is a professor of biology and biological engineering at the University of Cambridge and Caltech, stated that her research has been acknowledged by a reputable scientific journal, but has yet to be published. This research was initially disclosed by The Guardian. Earlier, Zernika Goetz and her team, as well as a competing team in Israel, had reported the production of model embryo-like structures using stem cells from mice. These structures, referred to as embryoids, exhibited the initial development of organs such as the brain, heart and intestinal tract after approximately eight days of cultivation. According to Zernika Goetz, her laboratory has generated structures resembling embryos, which were developed from single human embryonic stem cells. Through careful coaxing, these cells were able to differentiate into three distinct layers of tissue. These layers consist of cells that would normally mature into a yolk sac, a placenta, and the embryo itself. During her interview with CNN, she stated that the structures her laboratory has generated, resembling embryos, are unique in that they contain germ cells that have the potential to differentiate into eggs and sperm. Zernika Goetz emphasized that these are not human embryos, but rather models of embryos. Despite this, they are still significant because they bear a striking resemblance to human embryos and serve as a valuable tool for investigating why a large number of pregnancies end in failure. Specifically, these embryo-like structures are developed during the stage at which the majority of pregnancies fail, making them a critical step towards understanding this phenomenon. According to her, the creation of an embryo model that has three distinct tissue layers is unprecedented in the field of human modeling. However, she emphasized that although it does replicate some characteristics of a natural embryo, it is not a complete replica. Scientists aspire that these prototype embryos will bring insight into the enigmatic phase of human development, commonly known as the black box. This phase begins after 14 days of fertilization, which is the universally established limit for laboratory growth and analysis of embryos. Presently, synthetic model human embryos are limited to the confines of test tubes. Implanting one in a uterus would be unlawful, and animal experimentation with stem cells derived from mice and primates has demonstrated that even if they are implanted, they do not survive, most likely because researchers have yet to determine how to fully emulate the conditions of gestation. Zernika Goetz stated that the objective of her research was not to fabricate life, but rather to impede its demise. She sought to comprehend the reasons behind the failure of embryos to progress after fertilization and implantation. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.